Whether you get here by car, train or plane, every month and sometimes even twice a month, the entire parliament decamps from Brussels to Strasbourg for 12 four-day plenary sessions a year. That's one president, some 5,000 MEPs, staff and officials, as well as truckloads of documents. So what's it all about? Time to take a closer look. It's a tailor to cities enshrined into EU law. Historically, Parliament's formal seat is here in Strasbourg. But a second seat was built in Brussels, so that Parliament, with its increasing powers, could be closer to both the Commission and the Council. Brussels is where all the day-to-day -day groundwork and votes in committee to get proposals up and running takes place. And one of the things decided in Brussels is the agenda of the plenary. And that happens here behind these closed doors at the Conference of Presidents. It consists of President Schultz, the chairman of the seven political groups of the parliament and a member of the non-attached members, is allowed to sit in the meeting but doesn't get a vote. With the agenda decided, it's over to Strasbourg. The plenary session is anything but a walk in the park. The agenda is packed with visits of heads of state, discussing breaking news stories and where the award ceremonies for the Lux and Sakharov Prize take place. But its main function is to serve as the arena for the big decisions, to adopt, delay or kill off legislation. And that all starts here in the hemicycle with long hours spent debating. On the agenda will be four or five dossiers expected to face a vote the next day. And so MEPs, along with representatives from the Commission and Council, discuss and present their final positions. This is also where political groups can table last minute amendments to a draft proposal. MEPs have a lot of speaking times during debates, and sometimes if they run over, well. Israel l'a signé, mais ne l'a pas ratifié. Excuse me, Par conséquent, your time nous tenons... is over, Herr Brock, bitte. Après, on me demande pourquoi j'interviens. And exchanges can become quite heated. Vous emmenez l'Europe dans le mur. I'm certainly not going to lose much sleep over this. Over to the next day when those same dossiers are put to a full plenary vote. So, Claude, can you take us through the whole process? It's a bit of a marathon, isn't it? On the list will be, for example, legislative votes, that's mm -hmm. actual lawmaking, but there are many other votes mixed in with resolutions. Scattered around the chamber will be whips. They usually sit down the front right. and they will indicate a thumbs up or a thumbs down. When they do a thumbs down, the arms usually go like this in a parallel fashion because if they go straight up like this, mm -hmm. sometimes you mistake it for like this. And don't forget, the parliament is open to the public. And as you can see, there's lots of people everywhere. So absolutely anyone can watch all the shenanigans going on in the hemicycle, even lobbyists, so long as they all play by house rules. Lobbying kills. Is it normal that depuis 8h30, we are filmed by the lobbyists in the tribune? With the plenary over, it's now time to leave Strasbourg. But don't forget, there are also many plenaries back in Brussels. But that's another story.